Hello guys! Good morning! It's me again. So today, um, I'm gonna show you how I propagate my golden pothos. And I'm gonna show you how I make my android pothos bushy. So I'm going to try to speak Tagalog as well and less Bisaya so that my viewers na Tagalog and um, others would understand. So, para marami ating reach, um, I will try to talk Tagalog. So, please um, pardon my accent sa Tagalog because it's very gahi. It's very hard. Okay, so let's start. Uh, but first, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, comment, and like. So, okay. Now, let's use the golden pothos first. So, there are two ways on how to propagate it. The first is water propagation. So, I have here pothos that I propagated in water. So, the uh, marami na siyang roots, as you can see. Uh, but we're not gonna do that today because I want to put it directly into the soil. For this um, water propagation, I usually put um, fertilizer on it, the 14, 14, 14, just one to two granules. And I change water every three days, sometimes once a week or sometimes um, twice a week. Depende, if I remember. Alright. Um, wala naman siyang mga, what you call that? Yung wrigglers? Wrigglers ba yan? Yung ano ng mosquito? Wrigglers na, chi? No, it's wrigglers. Okay. So now, do the soil propagation. So this is my soil. This composed of coconut husk, cocoa fiber, um, carbonated rice hull, garden soil, and vermicast. So, I'm going to choose a healthy leaf, leaves of my golden pothos like that. And then, what I'm going to do now is the one, le one leaf, one node system. So, just going to cut it there. Like that. Okay. So, I have to remember which side it goes. So, kung pataas siya, dapat pataas din. Hindi pwede na... Doon ka sa kabila. Dapat ganyan talaga. Okay. This is the right position. So, I have here some cutleries. Ano ito? Um, it's just recycled. So, I'm gonna put one there. Yeah, facing here. So that hindi siya magtitake ng space dito na area. And then, I'm going to cut another one. So, for this, I won't throw this out. Ilalagay ko lang dyan because it has a node. Baka tutubo yan. I'm just gonna put it in a moss. So, let's cut another one. I plant as I go because sometimes I tend to um, forget which way it goes. Like this one. Uh, oh my god. Paano ba to? Wait a minute. Paano? How? Okay. It should be like it can't be like that. It should be like this. Yun, isa sa mga struggles. Gusto ko na marami sila so that it will be bushy. Anyway, ito palang gunting ko. I already sanitized this with alcohol. Hindi ko lang napakita. So, yan. Dapat apu. Oh, yan. Ganyan. And then, a few more. Yan. Tapo na ito kasi wala naman itong mood. And then, one more. Dapat hindi masyadong mataas dito. Maybe around 3, 3 to 2 cm. That's okay. So, dig lang tayo. Okay. Now, for this one, yung top end, um, I usually put two nodes, dalawa, para hindi, hindi mamatay or hindi malanta. Kasi usually, itong top part, namamatay siya. Um, dapat dalawa siya para hindi siya mamatay or malanta agad-agad. Ay, nahirapan ako mag-Tagalog, guys. Alright. 
So, ito na yun. When this grows, about maybe a month, makikita nyo na marami siyang new um, leaves. Kasi, madali naman silang mag-grow ng new leaves. So, it's gonna be bushy. And it's very important that you get a cutting from a healthy plant so that um, they will also grow healthy. Now, I like one leaf, one node because they're going to start new leaves. Hindi yung mataas na because uh, par old na kasi yung leaves niya. Whereas this one, it's gonna grow new leaves from the bottom. Alright, so we're done with this. I'm not going to water this since the soil is wet because it has been raining. Now, for this one, this is okay. I'm just gonna let it bushy. This is my enjoy. So what I'm going to do is I'm um, just going to cultivate the soil here. That medyo matigas na siya. Yan. And then I'm gonna put new soil. Dadagdagan ko lang. I'm not going to replace it. Kasi this one when you water, nag sumasama yung soil. Kaya Nagiging deep siya. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now, since I want this more bushy, I have this Enjoy Pothos. Look at this. Ayan. So, you see, itong Enjoy na Pothos kung ito, napakataas ng gap niya. So, um, I like to cut this so that I can propagate this. And then, para sa new growth naman niya, hindi siya masyadong one seat apart. Nag-social distancing sila. So, I'm gonna cut here. Uh, below the node. Like that. Since wala naman itong node, I mean, wala naman silang leaf, I'm just gonna cut it here. Ito, meron silang node. I'm not gonna throw this out. I'm just gonna put it aside. There. Kasi, ilalagay ko sila sa moss so that they can grow there. Alright. Okay. So, mag one leaf, one node na naman tayo. So, cut tayo dito. One. So, ilagay natin dito. Ayan. And I want isa pa dito. Hindi tayo ng mababaw lang. Mm, ganyan. And then dito sa likod... This one, okay. Let's not use. We have to have one, one leaf. mga taklo siguro, jan. All right. So gagamitin na lang natin yung kamay natin para mafeel talaga natin na nabaun siya. Another one. Oh. Another one here. And then, cut it. Okay naman itong mga pothos because hindi naman sila masyad sensitive. Mm, Alright. So, we put five one leaf, one node cuttings here. And hopefully, in a month, they will grow. So, let's gonna put this aside and then do this one. Alright, so nakikita niyo umaangat na ang kanyang mga Sige na kagay. Umaangat na ang kanyang Makadungog ang kuan. Umaangat na ang kanyang ugat. So let's put more soil. Hindi na natin to water din guys ha because the soil is wet. We'll water this one 2 days from now. Ayan. So, masyado siyang kalbo. Masyado siyang bare, bald. Yan. So, iwo one leaf, one node natin siya. Cut it. 
Wow, ang ganda niya. Oh, look at that. Wow, so beautiful. It's so tempting to just put this directly at hindi na na mag one leaf one mold. But you know, maganda talaga pag new growth from the very bottom. The nodes are so near to each other. When the nodes are so near to each other, you can make it two naman, two leaves. Kasi baka madamage siya. And that one. And then this one. Ito, pwede na to, since makikita mo, meron naman siyang ugat. Wow. She's gonna be beautiful. Mm, look at that. Mm. And then, for this one, malago na siya. So, we just add some soil. Teka, i-cultivate muna natin. Remember yung isa, yung parang na pull up na yung leaves niya? Yan, itanim na lang natin dito. Alright, so this is how I do my, how I propagate my golden pothos. And make my enjoy pothos bushy. In one month's time, I think they're gonna grow na. And I'm gonna update you. Now, for this, itong yung may mga nodes, I'm gonna put it in a container, in a moss, where there is water on it. It's really effective, but it takes time. But you know, you can't waste this precious cutting. So, just give me a moment here. I'm gonna show you. So, this is my moss Tupperware. And, yan, ilagay ko lang dyan. This is effective because you see, oh, Hmm, meron na siyang, ano, parang di. But it takes time to grow. But it's alright. Wala na siyang masyadong space. But, you know. Ah, ito, itanim natin yun doon. Hmm. And then cover it and put it in a sunny place. You, you check it. Once it's dry, you're gonna water it. But ito, mantagal itong madry. Hindi nga ito nagdry because... May moisture kasi dito. So, it's gonna drop. So, just give me one here. I'm just, I'm just gonna put it back. Alright, now. So, eto. Itanim na lang natin to, guys. Kasi, ano? Parang wala nang space doon. I need bigger. Microwavable. Yan. Dito natin siya itanim. And then for this one, yan, dyan sa baba. Okay. So, eto, mga photos na ito, I'm gonna put it um, sa shady place muna for one week. And then after one week, ilagay ko na siya sa my indirect light. These pothos really love indirect light. They grow well there. And I fertilize this. Ako, etong bago. I'm gonna first fertilize this mga after after one week. Pag nalagay ko na siya sa indirect light. Pero hindi naman yung super ano tawag dun? Concentrated. Yung diluted lang na fertilizer. And I also already bought Osmo coat. I hope it will arrive um, so that I can give them Osmo coat as well. So, eto na sila. And see you in one month. I update ko to. Pag-water ko nito is only 
when the soil is dry. Every three days or once a week, ganyan lang. And then, I clean their leaves sometimes. Yung gawa kong DIY na anti, anti-pass, ina-applyan ka sila. So, thank you so much guys for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Thank you.